Doctor here, second tune on custom. As you already guessed, today we'll be installing the K Series Race Spec Shifter Aluminum Billet and the K Series Billet Shifter Back Base Plate. Yeah, you know, we're gonna be doing both of them. I'll give you a quick video install on both of them. And um, yeah, hopefully, it's uh, of your liking, you know what I mean? So, yeah, without further waiting, let's get to it. Yeah. Uh, first thing first, fellas, we got our race pick plate. And um, yeah, this is the greatest thing they made. You know, I seen people that uh they cut this part of the tunnel off and they uh installed a shifter and stuff to it, which is nothing wrong with it. That's what you guys into, and you know, you could manage. You know what I mean? But if you're trying to do a cleaner bill, because uh, you never know, you know, uh, you might sell the car in the future, somebody else might change it from uh, K series to B series, go back to uh, D series, stock custom again, you know what I mean? You never know what life brings. So, with that being said, you know, this is one of the best alternatives, you know what I mean? Right at hand. And not to mention, it gets to that cleaner look. Um. Yeah, the good thing about this plate, it comes with all the hardware, you know, all the bolts. Um, it brings your Allen keys to mount it, you know what I mean? So it's a great product. Really affordable. I pay around $52 for the plate, which is not bad. It will separate from the, uh, the K-Series spec shifter. Uh, Mechanism, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, not too bad, you know what I mean? I happened to order the shifter place, uh, shifter first, and um, I realized I was gonna need this, so like a week or two down the road, I ended up ordering this because I know I was not gonna get anywhere without having the shifter, and then I was gonna want to mount it, and I couldn't without a place, so here we are. But um, it was a great investment. Uh, it's compared to K-Tune, it's not a K-Tune, it's a K-Tune knockoff, but uh, let me tell you, it's a great build, very similar, very affordable, you know what I mean, and um, yeah, nothing wrong with like doing a budget build, you know what I mean, anyway, as y'all see these two holes over here, it pulls right up to the back perfect you know what I mean number one and number two to the original tread place where the shifter used to be the boot play and the console and all that for your front hole however you have to drill them out and what I did I got a drill bit previous to the video of the size of it you know what I mean so 932 exactly so I went and I pre-drilled it only because I didn't want to sit here just showing you guys drilling and stuff, you know what I mean? Not to mention, I didn't want to have any metal shavings on the car, so I just went and I vacuumed it. 
so it's a lot cleaner. You know what I mean? I hate metal shaving, that stuff that gets in your clothes, it could go in your eye, things like that, you know what I mean? So it's not really safe. It's better to take your time, clean up a little bit, and uh, yeah, it's safer, you know what I mean? It don't take much for one of the little pieces of metal to go in your eye, and but if me and saw going to the doctor last minute thing, it's not healthy. So, but yeah, you already seen. I pre-drilled them, so it makes it a lot easier for me to torque this down. When you bolt the back ones, you tie them up. You want to tie them just hand tight. Don't over tie them because then it's gonna lift up the plane. When you do your markings, it's gonna be off. So make sure you do the hand tie them enough where it's even, and then you do your markings, remove it, and um, yeah, tie them up. These are ready over here. They're nice and tied up. You just gotta go down the core and uh, yeah, tie up. With two lug nuts, they come with. That's pretty much money right there. Yeah. One thing I found out the hard way, guys, just now. One of the original bolts to it is missing. It's supposed to be eight together. Four for the plate and four for the shifter. I don't know if maybe when I pre-opened it in the house, I left it dropped it anyway so what i have to do luckily i used to do bmx i do bmx so yeah i have to borrow one from my own bmx bike or for the neck and it's the same size so uh, i'll manage <laughs> so yeah just like i said match my screws luckily they were the same pattern so can you do, you know what I mean? Now we're gonna go down, put the remaining two locking nuts for the front. That should be it for the plate. And uh, yeah, these are the two locking nuts on the front. The back is not necessary because it's shredded. Let me tell you, this is the hardest part over here. Because usually you have assistant somebody to hold the, the screws so it don't move and you could tie it but you do it your own way that you know it's tricky and you can hold it so what I did I was I went and tied it as tight as I could so when I come down here I don't have to go back down open down you know and it's kind of self topping you know what I mean it's self treading well I don't need to go up and hold it or have somebody tie it up any of that for them two screws yeah now we're going to a circle four almost finalizing with this bit and uh getting ready to install the plate the chest turn itself Watchers, bullet watchers, where you get the plate. So you lock it down. And your four bolts. You got hand and hand time. Make sure they're nice and even all around. 
this is nice, man. This is so simple, you know what I mean? And I gotta admit, this gives it a sick look already. Like, on a boyer belt, you know what I mean? If you got the uh, RSX shifter, that's cool, you know what I mean? Not really downing anybody, you know what I mean? We all got different budgets and we do what we can. It is not necessary, but it's an application that if you could go and spend a couple bucks, it's worth it, you know what I mean? And it's not like it's K-Tune um, K stuff, you know what I mean? So it's a little more affordable. All together between the play it was $55 and the shifter and sold was about 202 So I'm about 255 Compared to K-Tune, that K-Tune is uh, about five, six hundred dollars, you know what I mean? This is half of the cost. And the performance is standing, you know what I mean? Like I went and I checked reviews out from all the channels, people that were recommending them, and why not, you know what I mean? Three hundred dollars in your pocket, it makes a big difference, you know what I mean? With that, we could get the TSX block, we could get the transmission, uh, we could get the hydraulic K tune wires or the OEM wires for the shifter and stuff, you know what I mean? Every little bit count, guys, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with it. If you could spend a little bit more for name brand parts, by all means. But if you could save for a little bit, and um, I mean by a little bit, I mean a lot, like three, four hundred dollars difference, I could use that for something else more in the bill. Why not? I absolutely go for it because. It's gonna be beneficial to my pocket, you know what I mean? It absolutely will, and it's more things that I'll be able to get. So I'm gonna chain with it. It's a great product. Um, it's definitely what I was looking for. The look on it's sick, as you can already see. Nothing that will go wrong with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, pretty much almost done. The way I tie it up, same way that you would with uh with your rim lock now, cause you know what I mean. That's a, in an X pattern, so you don't tie too much the front and too much the back. Trying to hand tie them and then cross pattern is the best way to go. So sick, man. Like, it got me hyped seeing every little bit that I put into this car and fine new touches and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Most people they would put the motor and the tranny, and then at the end, get all of this stuff. I'm trying to get all these little things done. That way, when I drop my motor and my tranny, it's just motor and tranny time, and that's it. Get ready to, you know, almost fire up. Rather than have the motor and the transmission there for months and wait more months into getting all these little things, you know what I mean? I wanted to get the car ready as much as I can, the quickest I can possible and the more effective way, if you, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, it's already installed. Put our final port to the test and we should be good. Yeah, now coming down to the shifter stick itself. This is set guys, check out the, the ice. This is pretty well built. It's got settings to lower your stick and self. Settings for the bolt to tie it up, up and down and self. So if you wanted to have a higher stick, you could do that. If you not want to have it at the lowest setting, you could do that. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Um, the shifter and self is made by Hearst. And um, I had it for a long time. I was saving and hoping that one day I had it in mind I was gonna get a shifter mechanism like that. So, you know, guess that, that look, you know what I mean? You can't go wrong with it. I'm gonna get down and set it right here. Adjust it. And yeah. Like I mentioned, you know, it'll come with the Allen keys for everything so you don't have to be breaking your neck that you don't got the allen key size or that you gotta use the the set you know what i mean these special allen keys for it so you shouldn't have a problem 
And this is not something that you gotta over torque them. So these are not gonna strip anytime soon. You know what I mean? It's not like we're gonna be taking it out, in and out, in and out. So you can't really beat that. Yeah, just check it out. Woo! Yeah. Feels so good. Right now, we're gonna set my, uh, the stick and self to the lowest setting. When the, I have my seat, I'll be able to figure out, you know, if uh, I want to go higher or lower. For the time being, I'm going to put it at the lowest setting. That's it. We're going to conclude to our video. We already finally installed. Install on it, yeah, and it wasn't something too crazy, you know what I mean? And yeah, just check out the look, guys. That's a dramatic change on it. That's ice to the cup, big drip. Ice, he followed. And yeah, that's the ice to our cake. Got the drip going on, fellas. Also, another thing that I want to show you. Damn. The new panel chip switchboard that I built. We got the two gauges going on, brand new. We got for the uh temperature that had temperature one and we got the oil temperature so we got number one and number two besides the uh, tachometer very important one once again I repeat this is a digital oil uh, pressure tachometer speedometer whatever you guys want to call it gauge and this is for the hot temperature one and of course none less we got to have a uh, push start button Got on and off button. Push start. This is gonna be for the fuel cell. For the fan and whatever accessories the other third one is. But yeah, I custom built that the other day out of the scrap aluminum that I had from the SES Mac up track wing. And um, yeah, it's very functional. And that suits the bill, you know what I mean? Rather than have like all these gauges all around and stuff like that, you know, where else than there? Thing that we're gonna be running without the dashboard, you know what I mean? And right there, it couldn't be any perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's how we rolling, man. sick in there and everything is nice and neat nice and talk you know what I mean yeah we come into our finalization pretty soon and uh the track bill you know what I mean everything is falling on place it's gonna be down in the next couple weeks probably I got to order me my quarter panel so I could do that little bit of body work right there. Start prepping for paint. And uh, we're going to do a sunroof delete. We're going to do most likely the Lexan or plexiglass just like the windows. But yeah, those are things that are coming up very soon. So uh, yeah, like always, make sure to stay tuned. Till next time, subscribe, like, comment. Peace. You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me. So you can point your fucking fingers and say that's the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs>